So the gear is here and with these breeze blocks I'm going to be building a wall at the back. So hopefully you enjoy this. So I'm going to be building a wall here. Also going to put a course on an existing wall and the new wall will come off the corner of it also and the existing wall will also have uh, a bit of a pillar, a bit of a pier built up it just to give it a bit of strength and also what I'm going to do when I come to plaster it that's going to be involved. So some clearing up to do and if there's any scouts watching yeah, hit me up with a deal for the football skills. But yeah, I don't mind doing a bit of work and sometimes it's quite enjoyable. I do actually love my work um, and do enjoy it, especially when it's a challenging type of job, you know, something that's really bad and you make something really good from it. Um, especially in people's houses, you know, give them a nice blank canvas ready for paint and decoration. Um, what what is it you guys love about your job or your hobby if you hate your job? So of course I don't build walls every day so hopefully I can learn some things from this and possibly you can learn some things from this too. Full respect to the guys out there who lift wet blocks all the time. Uh, it's not an easy job by any means. So on this one on my left here, hopefully you will be able to see a wee bit of my artistic, my creative side when it comes to the plastering and rendering of that wall. And it might just sort of that is into my mind and show you why I do love plastering and rendering so much. Especially on a job where you can just sort of just do your own thing. Oh and if you are new here to the channel be sure to subscribe. There's a new video every single week and everything I show is stuff that I do myself and things that have took me years and years to learn and years of hard work as well so you might be able to if you are coming into the plaster and render trade, trade you might be able to you know skip a few years of knowledge by learning from my previous mistakes and my hard work and um, i obviously have a good few tips where i've made my life that bit easier over the years Also, the tools I be using on video are tools that I use all the time or think that are good. Otherwise, you'll probably never see them after one or two videos. They'll disappear off the channel. So, you know, you may be able to see what has lasted years and years in my hands and therefore make a judgment call for yourself of what could be reliable and useful on your own jobs. So one thing you can always rely on here is my honest opinion on tools and methods that have worked for me year in, year out. So if you were ever looking some advice or opinions or even ideas on jobs you have lined up for yourself or upcoming, that I'll always be here in the comments and always be able to give you know some insight of what has possibly worked for me if it's a similar type job and if not even still give some advice on something similar that has worked for myself you know something i find amazing you can walk past something a hundred times and maybe notice it on 101 and um, something the wee one has built there a bit of a, 
a furry ring going on or some kind of I don't know <laughs> some kind of art of different types of stones and stuff so you know tell me has there ever been a time where you have maybe drove past somewhere a hundred times walked past it jogged past it you know work, worked somewhere for years and years and just one day just completely notice something that's always been there or notice it in a different way um, definitely let me know So what is it you call a volunteer bricklayer? A Freemason? But yes, um, I am actually paying to do this job as it's out my own back and hopefully will be a nice sort of barbecue area when I'm done so um, definitely not getting paid for this one. It's always nice to see the last block getting lifted, as it will be to see the last block getting laid. Um, unfortunately, I need another 20 blocks after this load, but let's not say anything about that. I don't think my last wee joke is going to get a sounding ovation from anyone. funny because in uh, one of the videos I got a uh, I was mixing sand and cement and I got a comment and the guy was telling me one of the ways sand was created and basically he said that it you know it's earth dried out by the sun creating sand dust but have whoever thought how did we get the name sand how did sand get called sand and uh, well that's because it's between the sea and land So just uh, another wee question for everyone, I was just wondering how, how did you come across this video, what were you watching before it or what made you type something in that brought you to this channel, even the subscribers that have been loyal to me from the very start, what was the actual draw to this channel, I was just very curious to know. So no job is without its preparation and the top of this wall is obviously old and you can see the first mortar joint has took the weather so it needed a good CN2 with a wire brush. Just as it's nice to see the last block win, it's also nice to get the job actually started after all the footing about the hand balling and clearing up. So here's how you roll your mud guys, huh? roll your muck and what do you think of the, the trial work, all the, the professional bricklayers watching this probably laughing and speaking of pros, uh, a good mate of mine on YouTube here at the minute, Mark, he has a channel and it's, it's really picking up great and well deserved as well so if anybody wants to see a very very good builder i'll drop mark's links in the description and you can watch a pro doing the finest block work and also has some rendering jobs on there too so you might also be interested in getting a wee click and having a wee peek at his channel but be sure to watch all this video first as his link will be in the description so it's not going to go nowhere. So how many times do you think I got scratched off the wire mesh that I laid in? Um, 
anybody want to have a tour and have a guess at how many times you're very welcome to you may be a prize to the winner but yeah the mesh there built it in to that's where the pillar the wee pier i'm going to build it's where it's going to catch and help tie it in and bond the wall and pillar together Um, wouldn't it be nice if I actually worked at this speed? I know um, I'd get a lot more done in the day, but unfortunately, we just have to go slow and steady and win the race that way. Um, just using the, the Colo mix for this first course. No, no, didn't really want to get the big mixer dirty for laying one course of block. You know, it's quite enjoyable actually laying some blocks. Um, obviously, physical can be a wee bit annoying as well when they just don't, you know, they don't go where you want them to go and they want to set off the bubble. But um, yeah, it can be quite enjoyable and relaxing to do it. A um, wee bit for filling. Um, might have to change back to being a bricklayer and hang up the plaster and shell, who knows. But would it be. You know, wouldn't it be nice to, to do a wee bit of bricklaying every now and again? And look at this. This is what happens when you cut a brick and you don't actually test it first and you put all the, the mud on it, all the cement on it and realise you have to take a wee trim off it. But not to worry. Another wee clip of the hammer and it sure fits. Been using the Spear and Jackson levels on all of the brick and block lane and their trials as well. And I felt very comfortable using their tools to be honest. And this pier originally I was gonna actually mount a bracket on it and put a, a punch bag on it as well and try and get myself back into a bit of shape, but I'm not sure I'm gonna just go down that route and um, with the punch bag, um, I might run a bit of a pole from the top of the wall to another post, but or I might just put a post and concrete a post in and wang it up onto that. I'm not not one hundred percent sure yet, but definitely wanna wanna try and get fitness levels up again. But yeah, that pillar. If you look at that pillar, it looks like it's the walls leaning in, and that's because it is. The pillar's plumb, and you notice the gap at the back is getting wider as I go up. Um, but that's okay, as when I come to do the render, I'll fix that. So, um, another big shout out and respect to all the grounds men out there, all the green keepers and guys that do landscaping as we all know digging soil is not easy, moving a ton of soil here and there is no easy work and but really I'm just trying to keep my eye open for anything interesting in here as well as I dig these fountains, you know, um, a bit of a metal detecting head going there when I started digging. This area behind the flags was quite tough. Um, there's actually concrete from posts and some concrete in as well, where there's like a wee block border going. And I didn't want to undermine the concrete too much, but I want to be able to get some fresh concrete under it and around it and stuff. Um, which, you know, it'll actually lead to a few more wee issues on down the line for me to fix. I think I'm gonna have to take a nip off some of it but I don't want to beat it off as I don't want to cause a wee bit of a, a slip in the, the rest of the soil and all them kind of blocks tumbling down into the hole. So 
halfway there. I'm gonna come up to about there, yep. anyone ever hand dug finds before and um, what was it like was it nice and dry the way I've got it here um, can't really complain too much the odd stone and stuff but considerably dry and not not fighting me too hard um, just when it comes to these sorts of things it's better just to stick out it. and see any minute here that I'm finding quite a lot of bits of chain and stuff can always makes me want to swing the metal detector when you see them sorts of things but yeah I'll leave that to later on so just a random brick in there too um, pity it wasn't something better but I don't know That's the fans all dug out and just ready for concrete, which I rushed to get the same day. Uh, about literally got there about 10 minutes before they shut the gates. And normally I would have cleared the big pile of soiler, the ton and a half of soiler in the road for myself, but for some reason decided if I got the found in, then I could start building on the foundation that bit quicker. So. I wanted to get it poured in and you can see I'm using semi dry here and compacting it in like crazy really really stamping it in as you can see doing the, the little heel heel walk up and down um, I do sort of give it a wee light wetting up again later and of course the tub of concrete I got wasn't enough so two more mixes had to be had to be stirred up and um, have it basically level here now as I want something nice and level to start me you know you don't want to be starting on a, a ramp and um, just trail gonna trail this up a wee bit more make it a bit more a bit nicer looking so I'm gonna have to clear the area here now and get it ready. I have most of my blocks around and just get it all ready for the actual block lane of this new wall. And you can see slowly but surely there's probably about probably about a ton and a quarter of soil there moved. And the last week pile to go. But yeah, I get it all nice and clear for myself and ready for laying some block. So I just set up a bit of a string as a guide. I've put it probably about two inches back to where I really want to start building. And the reason for that is I'm going to clear anything nice and level. A couple of bits of concrete that were they were absolutely massive in there. I just sort of chipped them off level. I cut them as well because I didn't want to disturb everything and have it all collapse in onto the foundation. And here we go. It's all about the the first row, as they say. You want to start on a, a good foundation. Start as you mean to go on. And I did set up a line here as well of the original wall, but I was never too fussed on how I met up with the original wall because it was not on the square. And again, I'm not sure why I started. I probably should have started up at the original wall and worked my way back down the lane but I wanted to follow the lane from here which it did throw me off on the original wall but I have a bit of sort of fancy rendering in mind for it anyway so again 
it was never really here nor there for me as long as I got the the, the newest part of this wall nice and straight for myself I was happy so let's see how we progress now as we're on a bit of a home straight we're just just the block lane now no more sort of carrying and carrying as bad as cat and sand is kids and sand <laughs> definitely is something therapeutic about putting some bricks together and seeing it form in a wall um, definitely a wee bit of satisfaction from it and you know you're achieving something while you're doing it now it did take me three days to build the wall because I never wanted to go any more than I think three rows or three or four rows high in one time as the things I have sort of built the higher you tend to go, the the more it wants to buckle on you and move on you. So I sort of learned a bit of lessons from that and thought I just take my time, and get get it as neat as possible, and give myself you know not so much hard work to go when it comes to actually plastering it. Um, now from probably from about that level in isn't isn't the most square for myself, but like I said. I've got some, some plans for that. Um, now on this wall I am building as well. I don't I don't have any plans on how I'm gonna finish any of this. Um, to the right I'm planning on building the barbecue. Um, the wall where I I put the first row of block on that has the pillar. I do have some creative ideas in mind and stuff for it, so that will be happening no matter what. Um, the bit in the corner, I'm pretty set on what I'm going to do with that. Um, so basically, the rest of this wall is... It's yours, guys. It's for the subscribers. It's for the viewers. Um, what is it you just want to see? What what kind of plastering? What kind of rendering? What, what dyson do you just want on it? Um, brick effect? Stone effect? You, you name it. And I'll see. As long as I can do it, I will do it. Um, but you know, wet dice, dry dice, I don't know, what what do you think? Blocks, coin stones, bands, big base, bell cast base, um, basically most of this wall is for the viewers to decide um, whatever you just call, um, whoever gets the most votes or views on their comment or most, most likes on the comments I suppose I will I will 100% go for it I'll do it whether it's even Kyrand or Weber or acrylic and um, what, whatever it is I'll do parts I'll fade this wall up and do some demos for you and make something pretty of it so here we are all done ready for your votes what do you want to see